Hello, Geminis. This is you versus them for the 29th through the 4th. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for you guys currently. What's going on for my Geminis? Four of Cups. I feel like a lot of you are missing someone. Um, someone that I feel like you guys had a lot of love for. Somebody that you felt like, um, you know, you shared some really good times with here. And I think that you're almost feeling like it's a missed opportunity with this person. Maybe they tried to offer something to you before or you tried to offer something to them and it was turned down. Um, I think a lot of you are probably reminiscing on um, maybe reuniting, maybe thinking that it's not going to happen even. Currently, they are coming as a Queen of Swords. Um, hmm. uh, this is somebody that feels a little scorned. Um, they're leery of people. I feel like this person is trying to, they would like to date. Um, either they would like to date or they are dating. But they always are on guard. Um, I think they look for, instead of looking for the good in people right now, I think they're, they're looking not necessarily for the bad, but they're trying to see how they can, um, you know, count somebody out, you know, that type of energy. They're, they're like on guard. Okay. Let's see what's keeping you guys apart here. The page of swords. I don't think that there's a lot um of communication between the two of you if any at all i think that there's something that you definitely would like to say and i think there's something that you you're thinking about currently maybe you are observing the fact that they are dating maybe that's kind of keeping you away um feeling like i mean it's a missed opportunity like it's too little too late here okay Hmm. What's keeping them from you is that they're trying to, um, they're trying to find their happiness elsewhere and they're not really feeling comfortable or feeling sure that that is with you. I think, um, it may be a Leo that, you know, this person is, has their eye on, does not have to be, that's trying to court them maybe, but I feel like it, this is all about you know how they're feeling about themselves but they would like to be in a relationship they they would like to be in a committed relationship is what i'm getting with this person um i think there's a lot about themselves that they are still learning the things that they like the things that they want was good for them even here hmm. let's see what your influence is here oh too many. What is Gemini's influence here? King of Pentacles. I feel like you guys really want to tell this person just how much you care for them. That you do want to be there for them. But I think that you're looking at them. I think there's something that has come to your attention that you're realizing about this person that maybe they are moving on um but i don't i don't think that you guys like that very much because but you feel like there's almost nothing you can do about it is what i'm getting here you're feeling like there's really nothing you can do about it hmm some of you may be um cancer cusp or taurus cusp here Let's see what their influence is here. The Two of Pentacles. They're trying to gain some balance in their life. Um, I think they're trying to, to get their emotional stability in check. Because this person scorned. But they want to be happy. And they want to be happy with someone. I don't think that this person feels they can allow... They don't know how to allow their emotions in without feeling extremely vulnerable and that they'll be hurt. And so it's like they're, they're kind of in a pickle right now. 
this person. This person probably has fire, um, maybe Capricorn in their chart, maybe Capricorn moon here. Air in their chart as well. Um, but they're scorned, they're looking for their happiness, but they just don't know um, how to attain it at this point, okay? Let's see what's blocking you guys. The Nine of Wands feeling like there's nothing else that you can do. I think you guys feel defeated here. And that's what's keeping you from coming forward is the fact that you don't feel like you can change the situation. You don't feel like this person will be interested in starting over, um, moving on past whatever conflict you guys had here. Hmm. Let's see what their blockage is here. The Page of Pentacles. They're not, they're not comfortable in the state that they're in right now. Because I get the feeling that this person is usually not one that is on guard. This person is usually somebody that wears their heart on their sleeve. But they are feeling um, out of their element is what I'm getting here. It's like they can see how to attain their happiness, but they really don't know how to go forward because I, I, I get that they're out of their element. They're functioning from a more intellectual um, standpoint, not really wanting to devote a lot of time and energy to anything um, because they're scared. This person's scared and I feel that strongly. Let's see what the advice is for you guys here. Page of Swords, fight, fight for what you want. Fight for what you want. I feel like it is to know that all is not lost here, okay? That you can go on, you guys can move forward, but it's not going to be easy. It's, it's going to be a situation where you guys are gonna have to, to fight to say what it is that's on your heart. Say what you mean. Speak your truth. You're going to have to fight for it if you want it. Okay. Let's see what the advice would be for my cross watchers here. The Ten of Cups. Hmm. I mean, this is reading just like a story. If you if you look at this, this person can be happy. Look how they're hiding behind the curtain there. Don't just sit on the sidelines. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get it. Because there's nobody. There's actually nobody that can make you happy you have to realize that there's something within yourself that needs that needs to be looked at um, probably with a magnifying glass because a lot of times we don't want to see it but that um, they can have everything that they want but they have to be emotionally balanced and they have to really want it okay there's no shortcutting it but if you want it, if they want it, they're going to have to go for it here. They're going to have to go for it here. They can't run from, they can't hide from their emotions. It's a thing that if they want the ultimate happiness, they're going to have to contribute more than just words and um, a little bit of time. They're going to have to be all in. Okay, so let's see what the outcome is for you guys. Hmm. I think that um, there is something that is definitely coming to an end here. And I really think that it's you guys being quiet. 
I think that you will transition from feeling like you're tired, um, this is not going to happen, I can't do this, into fighting for this, into speaking what it is that you want to say to this person, into being this king of pentacles and telling this person that, hey, I want this as well. I want this with you. If that's what you guys want, okay? Some of you don't, and I get that. But for those of you who do want this, it's fighting for it, okay? If this is you on this side, because this could very well be you on the other side over here. The energy can be interchangeable, guys, so keep that in mind, okay? Let's see what their outcome is. The Two of Cups, wow. There will be somebody that this person will have happiness with. They will enter into a relationship that is very committed and loving here. Most definitely, I feel. Will that be with my Gemini's though? So let's bridge this gap. All right, let's bridge the gap between the two of you. Put a card here between mm, three cards I see <laughs> this little deck just gives me everything okay so we have the five of cups here oh my gosh somebody is is um, feeling regretful somebody's very hurt that they could not that you guys could not be together Whoever this is, very hurt that you guys are not together. Feeling like there is no reuniting here. It's how they're feeling. Like there is a missed opportunity. Like, you know, there's no coming back from this. And then we have the King of Pentacles again. And then we have the world. Huh. You guys are the ones that I feel like are feeling very regretful. Whoever's on this side is feeling very regretful. Um, feeling like all is lost here. That there is no getting back. Okay. But the world is here saying that uh, no, no. You guys are wrapping up a cycle. But with this ending comes a new beginning. Okay. Okay. But I get that, if you look at these cards, guys, I get that to make this happen. You see how this lady in the world is looking back at the King of Pentacles? It's like, come with me. You guys may have to actually travel to this person. If you are far away from them, if you're 30 minutes or more, you may have to really go to this person. If you guys have moved to another city or, or whatever, you may ha have to actually travel to this person. If this is something that you want, okay, but it's for you to not look back on the past and feel regretful about it or feel like there's nothing that you can do because I feel as though there is something that you definitely can do if this is something that you want, okay? Definitely here. Look at this. Four of Wands, definitely. I'm not pulling any more cards here. Definitely. Aries energy here. This is what you can have. But, you know, if you guys are not the ones that you feel like, you know, need to make the first move, you know, by no means am I saying make the first move. But if you feel like, you know, there's something that, that you have done to like, you know, bring about the separation, then, and you want it back, then you can get it back. You can, you can get it back, okay? And I feel that strongly. But you have to make that move. If this is you, that's really feeling like, you know, all is lost here, okay? You guys can get it back. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and I will be speaking with you guys soon.